In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the scissor select tools. And to show you this, I'm going to use this portrait of President Obama and a link to uh, this uh, image and inform information about it is in the description. Okay, let's start. Uh, make sure you've got your scissor select tool selected here and in your tool options, interactive boundaries must be ticked. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, um, make this 100%. And I forgot to mention, when you first open this image, it will ask you something about an RGB mode. And just click keep or convert, whatever you want, but keep will be fine. Okay, so now I have did this at 100%. And with interactive boundaries, when I click at my first point, where I want to start, and then click and hold at the next point, I can see where the selection will be. And as you can see on top there, it won't be nicely around his hair. So you have to pick another point to start well, a second point. And this will be fine. And then you click and hold and see if the line is fine. And if it is, you can let go and make your next point. And I'm going to scroll down a bit and go here. And say you have made a point, but you're not happy with it. And then you can make a, a node, that's what the points are called, in the middle where you're not happy. Say I want this to be a little bit more to the inside. I make a note, I make a note here and I can adjust the line a bit like that. And when I'm fine with it, I can click on the point for, from where I want to uh, continue from, like this. And then just continue making points. And remember to click and hold to see first if your line is where you want it to be. So now continue all the way. And I'm going to pause it, pause it a bit so this won't take so long. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I am almost back to the point I started off with. The node I started off with. And, <coughs> sorry, if you uh, hover over it, you see two circles. I'm not sure if it's visible, but I will zoom in. And um, those two circles means that you can link uh, the selection uh, together there. So just click on it. And now you may have to wait a while because this is a huge image. And now, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's a... Uh, round selection sort of looking icon above the mouse and that means that when you click inside you will make a selection so I'm now I'm going to click inside and there's your selection and I'm going to resize this to 25% so I can see it better and now to uh, delete the background you need to add a alpha channel by going to layer transparency add alpha channel and now I'm going to uh, invert the selection by going to select invert and it means that the background is selected and I'm now I'm going to delete the background just by pressing delete on my keyboard and now I only need to go to select none and I'm done the background is gone from President Obama um, I will be using this cutout in my next tutorial, so I'm going to resize it. Obviously this is optional for you, but if you do want to follow my next tutorial, and if I do save so myself, it's a good one, then I suggest you resize it as well, because um, this is a very large image and it will be hard to work with uh, otherwise. So I'm going to go to image, scale image, and resize this to 700 and 50 pixels width and I'm going to make sure that these links are connected and then when I click in the bottom one it resizes the height uh, resizes accordingly and then just make sure that the quality is cubic and hit scale and now when you look at it at 100% it's still large but not as large so um, I have already done this but make sure to save this as XCF file and save it somewhere where you remember it because then you can use it for the next tutorial. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for that next tutorial and subscribe if you like my videos.